so I put the microphone up a little bit. Um, I just just tested the previous video and I thought my voice was a little low. So hopefully it's not too loud now. We'll see. <coughs> he really is a mysterious bird, right? I, I read that already. Okay. Here we are. Time sure flies when I'm in here. See y'all around, Kanzaburo. Oh. Hey, Chashioko. Huh? Rabu finally heading home after staying in the cafe for much of the day. Gestures to me on his way out the door. Here, this is your tip. It's the magical candy from the pocket of an old lady from Osaka. So young men from Osaka can do it too. What? See y'all around. Good day to you, Rabu. <laughs> I don't understand what happened there. <laughs> I think it is time to close up. Would you care for something, Joshioko? It won't be as good as it won't be as good after sitting overnight. Is there any of Tojira left? Of course. Here you are. Jiro from a fancy cup is the best. Mm. By the way, Mr. Urushihara? Yes? Mr. Rabu comes here every day, right? Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. He does, yes. I wonder what he does. Is he a night security guard or something? A chauffeur, apparently. He's generally out all night. He likes to come here to relax before work. A Bajerican, a Bajerigar works at night? There are those among us parrots who prefer the night. The moon is wonderfully calming on clear nights. Rabu is renowned for being a very careful and reliable driver. And here I took him for the type to go wild behind the wheel. Hmm, haven't I met another careful driver recently? The late sunset is in summer makes it easy to stay out late. I feel like my internal calendar is off already. I think I'll get some udon and head home before I get life canceled. Oh, wait, is that Yuya? Nice. He's rubbing and rushing around in a garbage can. Yuya, what are you doing? Have you fallen so far, Mongrel? <laughs> That's funny. Good evening, Monami. You sound rather like a certain someone. I I can't believe you need to. You sound like his brother. Yeah, that's funny. I guess that was a joke. I, I can't believe you need to fish around in the trash cans for food, you yet. Please don't misunderstand, Monami. I was looking for something. Sadly, no clues were to be found in this barrel. Sure, clues. Clues? What is he talking about? Let's keep this a secret from Sakuya, shall we? Of course, I'd never tell Sakuya that. I would hate for him to have new names for me when school starts up again. Mr. Garbage Disposal? Something like that. <coughs> I would like to escort you home, Monami. But unfortunately, I'm somewhat busy at the moment. Will you be alright on your own? Hunter Gatherer can always find her way home. Indeed, I do, Monami. That's a nice time with you, yeah? The smell of garbage surrounding him fades as he strides off into the night. But mysteries don't. What was he looking for? I'll tell you what he was looking for. He was looking for like some fish bones and stuff and some breadcrumbs. <laughs> One more week until the end of August. I guess my summer job is over. I'll miss this place. Thank you for everything, Miss Jashioko. It's been a pleasure. I'm sorry if my if my comments earlier about like that you yeah. Um, I just wanted to say this because I feel like what I said was offensive. I feel like it was offensive to pigeons to, to make fun of pigeons for eating trash. Um, I f apologize for my anti pigeon comments. And um, I'm going to stop the video here, but we'll keep going right after that. Save it a clip.